If you're looking to outsource your YouTube video editing, either for YouTube automation or just for help with your own channel, it's really a two-step process. But where a lot of people go wrong is they completely ignore step number one, which is everything you have to do before you actually go out and hire an editor. If you choose not to do this and go straight to hiring an editor, you're going to be disappointed with the quality of edits that you receive. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that happens in step one, and that is everything you need to do before you go to your freelance platform of choice and start hiring an editor. Then I'll follow up with another video on the actual hiring process so you can get a video editor that is good for your channel. Everything you're going to do before you go hire an editor is going to make their job easier and it's also going to make your job easier when you're hiring and training new people for your editing team. I know I said this is a two-step process, but we're actually going to break step one into two other steps. So in full, it's really three steps, but the first two steps are the biggest that you do before you hire the editor. So we're gonna start with step number one here, and that is editing an example video or creating your first video template for your editor to follow. Whenever you start out, whether you have a channel that you're currently working on or you're looking to start a new channel, you have to have a template video or an example video to give to your editors. This video shows them exactly what you expect your videos to look like, and it eliminates a lot of the guesswork that they might have when working through their first edit. It's also your first opportunity to set expectations with the freelancers so they know what kind of videos they should be producing for you. At Facts First, this is something we do every single time we start either a new channel or a new type of video on the Facts First channel. One of the best examples I have of this is our Brady Bunch cast then and now video. Um, and this is actually a template that we've repeated with great success for tons of other videos on the channel. Now, when we first developed this video template, it was the first time we were making a video like this. So it was not the same template of our other videos, which was just a script uh, matched with a voiceover and B-roll. Instead, this video has no voiceover, uh, no script. It's just um, a few clips of templates and graphics and text graphics uh, compiled in order to make a then and now comparison of all the cast members of a given show or movie. So our editors would not have known how to edit this if they had no video to work off of, especially because we hadn't done a video like this before. So what I had to do is go and create the first draft of one of these videos to kind of work out what that template might be. And this is why I talk so heavily about being involved in your production process before you outsource, because you need to know all of the steps that go into producing one of these videos, especially if you're going to hire and teach somebody else to do it. So essentially with this video, I just worked out a template that would become our then and now videos. Um, it starts with uh, an intro from the clips intro that would play before each television episode. Uh, and then I go into a graphic uh, to introduce the character, followed by a clip of that character in the show, uh, and then we have photos of them before and after at each age, uh, including their cause of death if they died, um, and then their most recent appearance in film or television. And then finally we have one last side-by-side -side comparison of the characters then and now. So this is a template that I worked out from scratch to teach other editors how to do. By doing this, I knew exactly what I wanted our then and now videos to look like. And after this video was done, our editors then had a point of reference to go back to if they were creating a new video and didn't know exactly how each step was supposed to look. After this is step number two, which might be even more important. And that's creating thorough step-by-step -step editing guidelines for your video style. This step is documenting every single thing that you did to create that template video so that your new freelancer can look at everything you did throughout the video and produce the exact same result. So for example, for our then and now style videos, I would go through and document where I got each photo, uh, which order the photos came in, um, how to organize all of the characters throughout the cast, and where to find each bit of information for the text graphics. And this is something that's really helpful to do as you're creating that first template video, because you can really work through step by step what is involved in the edit. Now the then and now videos are a pretty basic example because there's not a whole lot involved in the production. It really is just a couple of clips and images um, and some simple text graphics and uh, transitions on top of that. So uh, this editing guideline document is not super lengthy and not super hard for a new editor to, to jump in and figure out. Um, but we've also done the same thing for, again, all of our other videos, all of our channels. And one great example of this is the Side Hustle channel when I was previously doing script content about different side hustles that you can make money with. So you can see with these videos here, they also have a template. I'm just reading a script to the camera and uh, making sure every edit looks the same so that we can outsource most of the process. All I have to do is get in front of the camera and speak. But that did require a lot of documenting and explaining what I wanted to see for each cut of the video, especially when there's things like different text graphics, different sizes, um, different camera positions, uh, B-roll and all of that. 
In order to get all of that to look consistent, again, you just have to explain it step by step by step in as much detail as you possibly can. So when that happens, this is the document that I ended up with. It's nearly 16 pages of uh, editing guidelines and instructions for a new editor to figure out this video editing style. And you can see along the side here, I have it broken down step by step in the order that I would personally edit one of these videos. Again, to do this, I did edit one of these videos and I wrote down every single thing I did along the way. I started with just importing the footage into the project, um, doing any audio corrections and color corrections for the video, uh, the size and positioning of the video, including like specific um, positioning of the video on the screen to make sure my head was centered in the frame the way that I liked. I even quantified down to the audio levels of background music to make sure that everything comes out exactly how I wanted it to for the editor who is in charge of the next video. So I'm sure now you see why that so much of the work happens before you actually hire the editor. It does take a good amount of time to first edit the video, but then also really explain in detail how to do that and what you want out of each video. But people who do this process will be so much happier when they hire an editor versus the people who jump right to hiring an editor and just ask them to figure out the video they wanna make. Because when your new editor has both a template video that they can look at as an example and a step-by-step -step document that they can read and figure out what you want to see in that video for every step of the edit, there's very little room for error because they have all of the instructions laid out in front of them. And this all comes back around to your benefit in the long run. First, this makes it very easy to hire and train editors. You won't have to spend hours reviewing their videos and teaching them what to do because you've already put all of that work into your documents. The first editor should be trained quickly, and if you need more editors in the future, they should be trained just as quickly so you can onboard them into your processes and they'll have no problem picking up where any editor left off. And two, because you've laid out exactly what you want in your edits, your editor doesn't have to make a lot of creative decisions. This means you don't have to hire some expensive, fancy editor to reinvent your video style. You just need to hire an editor with basic editing skills who can follow the instructions you've laid out. So in many cases, you should be able to hire an editor at much lower rates than you would if you didn't have all of these documents. Plus, within each of these documents, you can specify any font styles you want, any brand colors, any text templates or, or graphics you want your editors to use so that every single video comes out exactly the same. And this is how you can build a fully automated YouTube channel with a huge team of editors without anyone being able to tell the difference between each video. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have a whole lot of editing experience or you just wanna skip this process entirely, we've dedicated an entire module in our upcoming YouTube automation course about outsourcing video editing. I did officially announce this last week. We are hoping to release this course in mid to late February. Members of our course will get immediate access to our full training documents and guidelines, so you can put these tips right to work and skip the entire process of doing all of these steps yourself. If you're interested, you may wanna consider joining the membership on this channel. We're going to be sending out an exclusive discount code to our members to access the course at a lower rate when it releases. In the meantime, check out the playlist on the screen now and stay tuned for more videos about YouTube automation.